coronavirus, college shootings have become a very sensitive topic for both students and parents. About two weeks ago, a SUNY New Paltz student was allegedly walking around Sojourner Truth Library, making trigger gestures to students. A police investigation was done to assess the matter. A suspicious student was seen walking around Sojourner Truth Library using hand gestures as a weapon on the night of October 6, police said. I think it's a matter of awareness, and it goes back to the adage of if you see something, say something. We encourage our faculty, students, and staff to call us and report anything of a suspicious manner to us. The chief of the University Police Department, UPD, stated that the young man was from a different country and he showed no harm to the students in the library. However, some students became concerned as a text message referring to an alleged dangerous student spread on campus. Personally, I was a little worried, but um, I heard the police got there and they said that it wasn't a big problem, but I was still kind of shaken up by it, but it wasn't too bad. Some students described the situation was a distraction to them when they were in the library, while others were still not completely sure what was going on. I was kind of creeped out, honestly. Like, some people were laughing, but, like, I kind of sensed that there was something wrong with him. Um, I don't exactly know the situation, but I did feel creeped out. Mark Carlson, the current dean of the library, said he contacted UPD as soon as the issue was brought to his attention. Carlson stated, the report, in fact, appeared about 90 minutes after our conversation. I believe Chief Tugatkin and his officers have conducted a very thorough investigation. Uh, the matter was fully investigated that day. There were several interviews done. Again, the, the student was very cooperative with us. Uh, the case has been closed, uh, deemed no threat to the New Paltz campus. According to the Chief of University Police, a situation like this has never taken place before on the SUNY New Paltz campus. If you ever see a suspicious situation, don't hesitate to call 845 Two five seven two 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 two. Reporting from St. Journal Truth Library, Jennifer Selig, NPC TV.